Hello. In this video, we'll discuss curve moves and specifically how to create curves. The video that follows will show how to actually make a curve move. We'll start by being logged in to Linmont Talk. So, what is a curve move? Well, a curve move is a move with a complex shape, typically more complex than, say, a trapezoidal move. It's represented by points of position versus time, and we'll look at that. A good example of a curve is an S-curve. We at Linmont call it a minimal jerk curve, but most people are familiar with the term S-curve. This minimizes the amount of jerk or disturbance that is placed on the load. So, let's see how we make a curve. So to start out with, we're going to go to the Curves folder. And to create a curve, we click on this icon, the New Curve icon. Click on it. And this will allow us to start building our curve. So what kind of curve type do we want? We want Position versus Time, because this will be a time curve. We'll click on Next. And now each curve that you make has to have a unique ID and we can name this anything we want and we're going to call it S curve out. So we'll drop this down. We'll pick minimal jerk. That sets the shape of our curve and now under curve length this is where we tell it how long we want the curve to last. So instead of a thousand milliseconds or one second, let's make our curve one half second long or 500 milliseconds. So I'll type in the 500 milliseconds. Our start point on our curve is going to be the zero millimeter position and for the end point we'll change that from 100 to 75 millimeters. So that's all we have to do in this screen. We click on Next this gives us some information about the curve, our stroke length, our max velocity, our max acceleration, and the amount of jerk that we have in the move. I'll click on Next. It asks us how many points we want to use to represent or construct this curve, and it defaults to 501. That's just fine. So now we click on Finish. And here we have the curve showing up in the edit window. If I want to take a look at that curve, I can double click on it. And there's a graphical representation of the curve running from 0 millimeters to 75 millimeters. And here on the x-axis is time, and that goes out to 500 milliseconds. So that gives us a, a graphical representation of our curve. If we want more information, we can right click on the curve, click on Edit Curve Values, and now we get a table of all 500 points that make up this curve. So I'm clicking through these, and we're up to 501, and then back to zero. And if I want to in this screen, I can actually save or export this curve, or I can import a curve, a custom curve that I've made myself. I can import that from a CSV file or a comma separated variable file. So I'm okay with this. So now we have our S curve out curve, and we're going from 0 to 75 millimeters. But typically, you have to come back at some point as well. So we'll create a new curve, position versus time. We have to have a unique number for each curve, so I'll click on this little up arrow, and I'll make that curve 2. And I'll name this S-curve back. That will be a minimal jerk curve. This one, well, it's a thousand milliseconds now. I could change it to 750 milliseconds. But it is important that our start point is the same as the end point of our last curve, so 75 millimeters. 
and the endpoint will be zero. So here's some information. Here's a number of points. And now we have our curve, and to take a look at it, we'll double click. And here we see a graphical representation. Now this curve is taking us from 75 millimeters to zero millimeters over 750 milliseconds. So I'll save that. Now, in order to download these curves into the drive, we have to select them. So I'm going to click on one of them, hold down the shift key, click on the second one so they're both highlighted. Then I'm going to drag them down to the download window. And to actually download them into the drive, I'm going to click download into drive. So if I click on that, it's going to tell me that it needs to stop the firmware. So I'll say yes and it will download the curves into the drive. So now, basically that's it. You've created a couple of curves, you've downloaded them into the drive, curve number one and curve number two, and in the next video we'll go into the drive and we'll actually make those moves. So, I'm Jeff Burt, thanks for watching the video, I hope it's helpful.